Arts Assembly, I want to welcome you to Word, Faith and Victory. This morning I'm going to be sharing with you from the book of Psalms, Psalm chapter number 16. So if you have your Bibles, I want you to go over there. Let's read from Psalm chapter number 16. I'm going to read from verse number 5. Psalm 16, verse number 5. Beautiful piece of scripture. I believe the Holy Spirit wants us to remind ourselves of His amazing promises to us from this scripture. Psalm 16, verse 5. The Bible says, The Lord is the portion of mine inheritance. Hallelujah. And of my lot. The Lord is a portion of my inheritance and of my cup. Thou maintainest my lot. Can you say amen to that? Verse 6 says, The lines are falling unto me in pleasant places. Can you make that declaration? So the lines are falling unto me in pleasant places. You know, there are some times when you look at what you're going through, it doesn't seem like that scripture you know, it's operational in your circumstances. Sometimes when you look at the external factors around you, it may not look like the lines are falling to you in pleasant places. But God wants you to know that his word is yea and amen. And what he has said in, said in his word is valid regardless of what storms may surround you today. And one way to bring about a change in what you see in your life is to stand fast on what God has said in his word. God said the lines are falling to you in pleasant places. Your responsibility now is to lay hold on that word and consistently believe and declare it and confess it regardless of what you see happening all around you. Hallelujah. Can you say that after me? Say the lines are falling to me in pleasant places. Now what does that mean, pastor? Well, that means that Concerning you, God has already ordained that only pleasant things will be the end result of what you go through. God has ordained that only good stuffs will come your way. Hallelujah. God has ordained that your days on earth will be as the days of heaven upon the earth. And the way to obtain the manifestation of these promises is to believe them, confess them, regardless of what you see around you. Psalm 16 we're reading. It says, The lines are falling to me in pleasant places. Yea, I have a goodly heritage. Hallelujah. God sent me to say to you this morning, you have a goodly heritage. You have a goodly heritage. Don't listen to the voices around you or the circumstances around you that is telling you no things are not working in your life. God wants you to know that the lines are falling to you in pleasant places and all things are surely working out for your good. You know, the psalmist went through different circumstances, challenging situations of life. And one of the things that helped him to gain victory over the numerous challenges that he found himself faced with was the ability to stand firm, holding on to the word of God. You know, the reason why God gives us promises before these promises come to materialization is to give us what I call grounds for faith. Faith is the basis with which God does everything he does for us. It is our access into the room of grace. So when God gave us this word of promise, telling us that the lines are falling to us in pleasant places, it is to give us a grounds of faith to stand on. I want to motivate you today to stand on this ground of faith. Stand tenaciously, believing and declaring that the lines are falling to you in pleasant places. Now think about it. Think about it this way. Think about it like, you know, you, you know, having to find yourself, you know, suddenly in a place of bliss, finding yourself suddenly in a privileged position, finding yourself suddenly, you know, I mean, uh, in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a favorable disposition by the Spirit of God. I believe that's what God has prepared for you. The Bible says you have a goodly heritage and the heritage of the righteous is peace. The heritage of the righteous is prosperity. I want to motivate you today. Let hope rise in your spirit. Refuse despair. Don't sit down in darkness. Don't let the devil make you feel that there's no reason to have hope. You may be in the midst of, of tumor. You may be in the midst of storms. But in the midst of those storms, let the light of God's word right, rise in your spirit. And I want you to know that it may be dark today, but tomorrow will surely be brighter than today. The Bible says weeping may endure for the night. But one thing is certain for the righteous, joy will surely come in the morning. The scripture also tells us that unto the upright there ariseth light 
there ariseth light unto the upright in the midst of darkness. Now God never told you that you will not find yourself in the midst of darkness, but he says in the midst of darkness, you will arise, you will shine. I motivate you today to arise and shine. It is your day of shining. It's your time of shining. It is not a time of gloominess. It is not a time of sorrow. Don't let the devil keep you down in the pit of sorrow. Regardless of what you're going through, God will take that circumstance and make it to work out for your good. The Bible says, for the righteous, that all things will work out for the good of the righteous who love the Lord. I know you love the Lord and I believe that all things will work out for your good. And it doesn't matter how long you have been in the midst of the trial. One thing is certain, weeping may endure for the night. Joy will surely come in the morning. And I prophesy to you that it is your morning season. It is your season for joy. It is your season for laughter. It is your season for rejoicing in the name of Jesus. I pray over you right now. I command every cloud of darkness to back off from your life. And I call the light to shine. The light that brings a change of times and seasons. I call that light to shine in your spirit. You know the Bible says in the book of Genesis chapter 1 that God made a greater light to rule the day, the lesser light to rule the night. And he made these lights for times and for seasons. And the light that God wants to shine in your spirit right now is the fact that you have a goodly heritage. The lines are falling to you in pleasant places. Yea, indeed, all things will work out for your good. In the name of Jesus Christ, I call a smile on your face. I call joy upon you today. And I decree victory for you in every area of your life. Remember, the victory that overcomes the world is our faith. The victory that overcomes the world is our faith. You know, sometimes if, the, if you were to see the end of the story, you will not be tensed while you're watching the movie. Many times, the, our experiences in life, they are like a movie. You know, when, you, when you're in a movie and there's a, a tense scene in the movie, you're, you're kind of sitting on the edge. You don't know what's going to happen at the end of the movie. But it's a movie that has joy prepared for you at the end. God said, I know the thoughts that I have for you. They are thoughts of peace. They are not of evil, even to give you a future and a hope and to bring you to an expected end. I love what Isaiah 55 says. Isaiah 55 says, The words of God concerning your life, they are like the rain that falls from heaven. They cannot return to God void. And God said in his word, he said, Mark the righteous, for his end shall be bliss. His end shall be peace. His end shall be prosperity. I see you rising. I see you rising from the midst of the darkness. I see your nation rising. I pray specifically for the nation of Nigeria. I speak light over Nigeria. I speak, speak a rise of a new breed of leadership upon the country of Nigeria. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for your nation. In the name of Jesus, I pray for change. I call for the manifestation of the glory of God over your nation, over your family, in the name of Jesus Christ. If you believe, say a loud amen. Amen and amen. Thank you so much for being a part of the of, of this amazing time we've had in God's divine presence. If you've not yet downloaded our mobile app, I encourage you to get on the Google Play Store, on the iStore to download our mobile app. Remember, the name of the app is DRM Live, D-R-M-L-I-V-E. You can download the app from the Play Store or the iStore. I mean, there are someone streaming on the app every day that will bless your life. And remember, you can also subscribe to In His Presence Daily Devotionals by sending us a WhatsApp message, you know, using our contact details as displayed on the screen. Pastor Emmanuel Ogbechi here asking you to have a great, great day. And remember, the lines are falling to you in pleasant places. Yay, you have a goodly heritage. I love you. God bless you richly and bye-bye.